Hi, welcome to Ranging Country Air Guns. I'm Lawrence. Oh, no, no Peter here today. Um, and today we're here to bring you honest reviews of air guns and shooting equipment. So in this review today, we've got a series of silencers and I'm going to be showing you they're going to be giving you their dimensions, their weights, their lengths, their diameters, and I'm going to be shooting them all. I've got an FX crown here with me today. I'm going to shoot them all, and we're going to see how they perform compared to each other in terms of noise levels. So let's give it a go. Okay, so what have we got here then? So we've got 13 different moderators from seven different manufacturers. Starting at this end, we've got the Donny FL Sumo. Um, I've put these little plaques, so hopefully we can, hopefully we don't get too mixed up with which one's which. So yeah, we've got the Donny FL Sumo, we've got the 0dbs, Daystate 0dbs, we've got three of the Huggett range, we've got three of the A&M range, we've got two of the Rexmex range, we've got a Umarex K3 Neo, and we've got one of Krell's moderators as well. Um, so, what do we like about each one? So they're roughly set up in price order, which is how I've done this. Um, about 150 up to this top end currently, down to about 40 at this end. So give you an idea of the sort of price range of these. The Donny FL Sumo. Now, in terms of dimensions, it is 160 millimeters long and it's 40 mil wide, and it weighs about 160 grams. It's one of the heavier on on test here today. Obviously, we'll put it up as a table so you can you can see what's what. One of the heavier that we've got on display, um, but I thought I'd put it in as one of the Donny FL range. Usually, go with the FX rifles. Next down the down the list, we've got Huggett, which are they're English made. Um, they're a they're a company um, a bit further down south from us, um, and they make these beautiful silencers. They come in all different shapes and sizes, um, different colours. Um, and different designs as well. So we've got the we've got two black and one red on test here today. Um, but I will we've got the blues and greens and silver swirl versions as well to show you. So I'll put some I'll insert some of them clips of that as well. We've also got another English brand is Zero DB. Now these are these are supplied by Daystate. They recommended for Daystate because they look best on most Daystate and Brocock rifles. So we like them. We do a lot of these uh, in the shop. So we like them. They look good on Daystate rifles. Down here, now, these three guys, these are the A&M range. We've got the Twink, we've got the Neelix, and here we've got the Titch. So these are the three different, obviously, sizes. Um, they are made in, made near Ollerton, which is Newark, near to us. So brilliant company just down the road. It's a couple guys in a shed, essentially, but they make quality kit, and it's very, 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 very good, very, very quiet. Um, down here, we've got some of the newest range, Rex and Max. Um, they're very, very skinny, very, very, very thin, very light, um, and they're actually very, very good for their, for their size. Um, our next one is the Umarex K3 Neo. It tends to go with Walther rifles, Walther RM8s. This is the same one that comes with the Walther RM8 Ultra Compact, if you've, if you've had or been familiar with that. Um, and then down here we have the Kral moderator. I'm afraid this doesn't have a fancy model name. It's just their Kral threaded silencer. Standard black affair. They do do it in a silver as well. Um, but that is that, about six inches long, inch uh, in diameter, something like that. So we're going to go through those. Um, we will put on a table um, of their dimensions and their weights and their sizes and everything like that. And then in, later in the video, we're going to have a shoot of them and compare their noise levels. You will notice there's a bit of a size difference between all of these. Um, these are the smallest and the biggest that I've got on, on, on test here today. It has been said that size doesn't matter. Now, unfortunately it does, and I'm here to prove it. Something like the Huggett Atom, which is the smallest, as I say, we've got on test here today, and the A&M Neelix, which is the biggest. 
Um, there will be a noise level difference between the two of these. That's just physics. The larger the silencer, the more space air has to escape and slow down before it eventually leaves the barrel and we hear it. So the smaller that expanse is, the louder it's going to be, the, the less the less slowed down the air is going to be coming out of it, so the noisier it is going to be. So just take that with a, with a sort of pinch of salt as we test these different silencers. The smaller ones, in theory, will be louder unless they're particularly well made, particularly high quality, um, or the, the big ones are particularly lower quality or their internals are somehow less efficient. So let's give it a go, let's get into shooting. Okay, so that's very interesting. Uh, I've tested them all. Um, started off with no silencer on it and with no pellet in it, it's doing about 105 decibels. Once you put a pellet in, it comes down to about 95. Um, now, one thing I will say before I go into the sort of the top three and the, and the loudest three, um, quietest three and the loudest three, the decibel scale is not linear. So the difference between 60 and 70 decibels is not the same as 70 or 80. There's a bigger difference between 80 decibels than there is to 70, then for instance, 70 down to 60. So just keep that in mind as we go through the different sizes. So the loudest silence that we've got on test today is one of the sh one of the smaller ones. Obviously, it's the AM Titch. So this came out to about 89 decibels. So that's brought the brought the rifle down from 95 down to 89. A nice little difference. Obviously, it's quite a small silencer. You wouldn't expect too much. This would be great for on the range, something like that. Your next one along is the Reximex Silent Force. This is quite skinny, but similarly similar length. Um, that's doing about 89 decibels, so they're about the same. And then you've got the Hug It Atom. Uh, this is the smallest, uh, the shortest on test, I should say today. Uh, very, very short. But it was. 85 decibels, uh, it, was, it was fine for its size. Now, the quietest three, third quietest, as a joint, as a joint accolade, would be the Crowl silencer and the Hug It Snipe. So these are fairly long six inch, sort of six inch by 30 mil moderators, so they're fairly big. They came out at 81 decibels. So they're quite quiet, as you would expect for their size. Second one is the AM Twink. This is their sort of standard size, about, about six inches long, 40 mil wide. Um, that came down to about 79, 80 decibels, 79.7 I've got written on there. But the quietest one, obviously, is the biggest one, is the AM Neelix, came out to about 78 decibels. So that was really quiet, brought the noise level down massively. But then you'd expect that from its size. So, in summary, what do I think of them all? What I would have to say is the Neelix was kind of obvious. It's the biggest uh, biggest capacity, so it's going to be the quietest. That's kind of a given. Kind of surprising was the Donny FL Sumo. It's the second largest by capacity, um, and it wasn't the top, sort of the top three or four in terms of being quiet. Whether it's just that particular rifle that didn't didn't like it too much or what, I don't know. But yeah, that was a little bit disappointing for me, considering it's the most expensive here, or well, equal the most expensive here currently. Um, all of the Hug It range did fantastically, I have to say. The Hug It and the Zero DB, both strong contenders, very, very similar. I'm not going to get into that. Very, very similar. But I like the different options of the Huggets. But for Day State and Brocock rifles that tend to have a matte shroud on them, I much prefer the Zero DBs. I think they look a lot better on those. The AM Twink, the AM Twink and the Titch in general, both brilliant little silencers. 
Um, I was a bit disappointed with the titch, but I was incredibly impressed with the twink about how they performed. Um, maybe I just had a bad, bad titch or something, don't know. Um, they're quite big by capacity, so I would have expected it to be sort of middle of the pack considering its size. Um, the two Reximex, um, they weren't the quietest, but they're very, very small, very, very light, nice and skinny. They're brilliant for pistols or for non-shrouded barrels where you've got that nice taper um, and they don't they don't reach out too far. Um, the Kral was very impressive. Um, I would say it doesn't feel the best quality, but it's it's the cheapest on, cheapest on test um, and it's brilliant for that. Brilliant. It's one of the most quiet. It's top top three, obviously joint joint top three. Um, I would say those crowds are actually brilliant for that. Um, and then the Umarex Neo. It's fairly small. It's near not the quietest, not the loudest. It's perfectly fine. Um, quality is very very good. It's this nice sort of matte finish. Um, and yeah, it ta tapers down to, obviously it tapers down to the like the Umarex barrels very, very well. So I can't say that there's necessarily one silencer that I would go for above all others. Um, that There's no one sort of easy answer. If someone comes up to me, what do I want? Maybe that would be the Twink. And then obviously you've also got the Twink C as well. Um, but beyond that, there's not one that I would necessarily say was definitely the best, definitely the worst. They're all different. Um, and unfortunately, for, for everyone at home, that's a, that's a bit of a nothing conclusion. Um, but I think it's true. I would absolutely go for any one of these. I, sorry I couldn't be more definitive, um, but that is my honest review of them. Um, thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe.